Welcome to this vlog. I didn't vlog the first day of wearing this because we went out to Spoons, we had some dinner, we came home and I pretty much passed out. Luckily I slept through the whole night wearing it. Um, I'm going to try and take you along for day two. I got some new sports bras yesterday um, because I was like this is going to be really uncomfortable. And I needed some new ones anyway because I've been wearing nursing bras um, since I was pregnant. And I think it was time to retire them, considering I haven't been nursing since she was a couple of months old. I got this one. I did take the pads out of it and it's quite comfortable. And I'm going to be wearing a vest top over the top of it. And then what I do is I just slip the electronic part of it into like the side of like there i'm going to be wearing a dress today because we're going to see my dad and it's quite sunny so that is the plan i don't know how it's going to work i might have to have like a handbag or something and then like pop it in there somehow um or i'll just choose to stay in what i'm wearing we'll find out so this is me putting the heart monitor where it's most comfortable for me i'm wearing a sports bra without any pads um just because this monitor is quite uncomfortable and quite itchy so I just wanted to feel as comfortable as possible I'm just sticking it in the elastic part of my flared leggings um now I'm just showing how I kind of keep clean because when you are wearing a heart monitor you are not allowed to shower or bath um you can't take it off at all you have to leave it on your skin entirely so as you can see, I'm just trying to make sure that I don't get any water near my heart monitor while I'm doing my daily routine. Lots and lots of moisturiser just to keep myself refreshed throughout the day. It's official. It's been three years. It's 20th of April 2023 and we moved in on the 20th of April 2020. How are we feeling? How do I feel? Yeah. Happy days. Three, Three years. years. That we've lived together. Of adulthood. <laughs> Do you like to go back? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm using Snapchat camera because it has a really good filter, if I'm going to be honest. Um, it just looks better than the normal camera. Ignore the fact that the room looks like crap. But I'm going to try and film a little bit of like how I did my makeup. I have not done that in a very, very, very long time. That's all I used to film at one point. But... I have a very big box of makeup and I don't really use it that much ever since I cut my hair because it's very difficult to like have a look that I used to do but with this hair, you know what I mean? So I'm going to be, I haven't primed my face in ages but I'm going to be using the baby skin, it's the only primer I have. Um, it's really difficult to like find new products to use because you don't know how they're going to affect your skin and it's like I don't really I don't watch makeup videos anymore if there's anything yeah there is something left in here oh I haven't used this in ages so I don't know any like new products to use I know that someone I follow called Sarah's Day I think she uses Esme skin products but those are like really expensive that is not in my budget it's like her audience is for people who've grown up with her who are like in their 30s and you know have their own career and all that i don't have that yet i can't afford that yet um i've still got moisturizer on my face as well it hasn't completely gone in yet the reason why i use so much is because it leaves my skin feeling so that cut me off pretty quick so now i'm using the normal camera let me know if there's a difference i've now put my primer on very much the opposite of dry right now on my skin it it's a really good primer in my opinion it's the only one i've ever used there might have been a different one i probably used like years ago but this is the only one i can remember using i don't have any foundation left or any concealer left so i'm going to be using this really cheap technique color fix contour palette from body care <laughs> for my skin um don't recommend doing this especially if you have really really bad skin um but that's what we're going to be doing today I'm just going to be like dabbing my egg in there. I call it an egg because of Jamie, because Jamie calls them eggs. He goes, where's your egg gone? You can't hear me, can you, Jamie? What? <laughs> I said, you call them eggs, don't you? Egg. 
I don't need to use too much. That's not coming off at all, is it? Because my skin, apart from these lot that have come out of no, well, they haven't, they've come from stress. Um, apart from them, them, my skin, I feel like I've improved a lot since doing my new skincare routine. Now I'm going to be using my NYX contour palette and I think I'm going to go in with smaller egg that shade. It doesn't have a name so I'm just going to point out the colour. I haven't done a full face of makeup in a long time purely because I just don't have the time for it anymore. I did do my little sister in a full face of makeup um, last week now because we did a photo shoot for my portfolio which went really well and she loved it so those images won't be posted on Instagram because I want to submit them to a magazine that was the goal when I left uni, was to do a load of fashion shoots and then submit them to magazines. Um, however, I didn't have enough images and you can't submit any work that you're using to submit on magazines on social media. If they are already submitted on social media, they can't be used for the, submit, the submission of the, the magazine, which kind of sucks a little bit, but you know. It is what it is. I do like this contour palette because it's quite light and you can build it up how you want to build it up. It doesn't look very harsh. And it's really good if you're editing photos. You can really bring out the contour as much as you want because it's got enough that you can see it and then you can play around with it in post. See, it's not, it's not heavy, it's not heavy contour, so that should do me. Bit of highlighter, I did get a new highlighter actually. I find it, so I'm gonna use the Body Shops palette for some little bit of highlight because I don't know where it's gone. I used it on Amy when we did the uh, we did the photo shoot the other day, but I haven't seen it since then. I am using like a pink and a yellow kind of glittery mix um, for this because it's really summery outside what's next um <sighs> cut that all over my shirt this is why Ugh, you don't wear black when you're doing your makeup hello everyone this is me a month ahead from where you're watching currently i got bored of watching myself do my makeup <laughs> so i was like yeah that's my attention span gone comment down below if you want the full video and i can upload it either as a separate one on youtube or instagram again comment down if you want to watch it and where you want me to upload it if not we'll leave it there and we can continue on with the rest of the vlog now you try to do that amy I did, I did, if you looked, I didn't use my head that time, so you can't say I'm cheating. I can do a headstand. Right, okay, without my head. <laughs> <laughs> Just wee! <laughs> That'd be really fun. <laughs> shake that. <laughs> can, shake can you? That's a pickle. <laughs> <Can you? laughs> I got to attempt to do that. <laughs> yeah. Jamie. Hang on, hang on. <laughs>
scared. I do look scared. Where's Jamie? There's Jamie. Hello. We are on our way to see our father. Our hey. father. Hey, hey. That is my father. Why are you talking to me? That is my father. <laughs> Go call your father. You're man. so white and so ginger. <laughs> Gingers are white, are they not? Hello. That's my younger sister. She hasn't hit puberty yet. I hit puberty when I was like 10. What do you mean? With her fake ginger hair. I look a bit dishevelled. Dishevelled. Like I don't look like a lesbian. You constantly say that you look like a lesbian. Lesbian. Not today. I'm the one that looks like a lesbian. You do today with your short hair. My hair's still not working. Fit check. Fit check. Oh. Fit check. Oh. Wheelchair. You dropped your hair. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm the track. Go on, wheel across. Fit check. Fit check. Fit check. Woohoo. Injured in primary school, put on lockdown after yeah. two dogs that began attacking over there. people. Where? There's a romp club down there. That's Kings Norton primary oh, school. That one. Oh god! Just I literally started filming as you were saying that. Back. Oh my god! A twenty the, blah, 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 blah. a twenty-eight year old man is arrested on suspicion of possessing a dog which was dangerously out of control. Mm. While officers confirmed two animals have been seized mm. and taken to secure kennels. Anyway, my roommate. Oh my god! That's it's got its own power on the back of it. Is it not that? Yeah, it's oh, hi. <laughs> Go on, do a bicep curl. I can't curl this. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. Is it what is it? Fifty kg. Um, Four point five kg on each side. I can't singularly. Yeah. I do that for. I got it the wrong way. Twenty five bucks. <laughs> Nippy nuppies. Nippy nuppies. Nippy nuppies. Jamie. It's a video. Sorry about the lighting, it is very early in the morning. I look like this because we went out last night and we, I didn't remove my makeup and blah blah my bed hair. This is what happens to my hair in the morning, it's not the best. But, um, it is finally the third day. Technically 48 hours is 9 o'clock, however I have work and I need to go to the hospital and bring it back, take these to the hospital, then go to work So and I need to bath beforehand. So. Um, we are going to be taking this off. I'm actually quite nervous because it's been on for about three days. So, yeah. We have added a ring light. Oh my god, you can see my stretch marks really bad there. But yeah, oh my god, I look like a zombie. Right, we're going to be taking this off. So this is the monitor that tracks everything that goes on. I need to fill in the form as well with everything that's been written down on the phones so like you write down your symptoms and whatnot at the time it happens and then they go back to see like whether your blood pressure drops or heart palpitations or anything like that so oh this is gonna hurt oh my god oh. Oh. oh ASMR and then we've got on here. Oh. Another one here. Slightly painful, but I can imagine very satisfying. Oh, the sides don't hurt. Oh. And I'm now officially disconnected. Woo! And when I get the result back, I will update everyone about it. Hello again. Um, I thought I'd end this video by talking to you. Again, it's been about four weeks since this happened. Um, I should get the results between, it was either four to six or six to eight weeks. I also had a sonogram on my heart. The results came back with that and it came out all clear. However, they're still processing 
um, this 48 hour one. However, on my paperwork, it says 24 hour. So I don't know whether they did a 48 hour by mistake when they were supposed to do a 24 because on both pieces of paperwork I had, it's 24 hour. And then when I got there, they said 48 hour. So I don't know, but yeah. Um, just a pre-warning as well. The next vlog I am going to be posting is also medical and to do with like everything that's been going on. So yeah, that's going to be the next vlog as well. And then I haven't filmed since then because there's just been so much going on. So then hopefully I can resume doing better, more fun content and not just kind of documenting everything that's going on that's... I mean, this vlog has been fun. Um, but obviously a lot of my content recently has just been kind of posting about my health and I kind of want to get that over and done with and try and just film better content. Anyway, if you got this far, thank you for watching. Again, if you want to see the full makeup video of everything I did with my face, then comment down below in the comment section of this video um, if you want the full video and where you want it, whether you want it as a YouTube video, as like a big long video, or you want it as a reel on Facebook or TikTok or Instagram or whatever platform is best for you. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!